percent, fraction, and decimal. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to visualize percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Let's begin. Let's meet Murray. Murray is a grade 5 student. She got 89 out of 100 item tests in math. Now, what percent of the tests did she answer correctly? Here, we are asked to get the percent of the tests Marie answered correctly. But wait, do you know what percent means? In the word percent, per means for every, while cent means 100. Therefore, percent means a part per 100 which comes with percent symbol. For example, a figure here is divided into 100 parts. If 100 parts are shaded, the shaded part represents 100%. If 50 parts out of 100 parts are shaded, it means 50%. While if there's only 28 parts out of 100 parts are shaded, this represents 28%. Always remember that percent means the part per 100. Now let's go back to our problem. Let's solve this by drawing a model. Since we know that the test has 100 items, let's divide this figure into 100 parts. And out of 100 items, Marie got 89 correct answers. So let's shade 89 parts to represent the number of items she got correctly. There you go! Since 89 parts out of 100 parts are shaded, this means that Marie answered 89% of the math test correctly. Wonderful! Now did you know that percent can also be written as fraction? since fraction represents a part of a whole. Now let's write the fraction of the figure shown. Since 89 parts are shaded, that will be our numerator. While the total number of parts, which is 100, will be the denominator. Therefore, we have 89 out of 100 or 8900 as our fraction. As you can see, we can write percent as a fraction by simply removing the percent sign then divide it by 100 and reduce it to lowest term if possible. So if we write 89% as a fraction, simply remove the percent sign and then divide it by 100 or write 100 as the denominator. Now we'll have 8900 as fraction. Another example, let's convert 50% into fraction. Remove the percent symbol, and then divide this by 100 or write 100 as the denominator. Here, we can see that this fraction can still be reduced to its lowest term by simply dividing both the numerator and the denominator by its UCF 50. If we divide this, we will get 1 half as the final fraction. Next, we can also write percent as ratio. Ratio is a comparison of quantity. Here, we can compare the number of correct answers to the total number of items, which is 89 is to 100. Finally, percent can also be written as decimal, since decimal is another form of writing fraction. 89% is 8900 in fraction, which can also be written as 0 0.89 in decimal. This means that percent fraction, ratio, and decimal are related to each other. Let's have another example. We have here a figure with 100 parts where 43 parts are shaded. Let's represent the shaded part in ratio, fraction, decimal, and percent. In ratio, we can compare the number of shaded parts, which is 43, to the total number of parts, which is 100, which gives us the ratio 43 is to 100. In fraction, we can simply write this as 43 as the numerator and 100 as the denominator. In decimal, since the fraction is 4300, we can write this as 0 
while in percent, it will be 43%. Now, to write a fraction as decimal, we can simply divide the numerator by the denominator. Let us try. We have here our fraction 43 out of 100 or 43 hundred. Now, let's divide 43 by 100. Since 43 is smaller than 100, let us add 0. We have 430 divided by 100. That is 4. 4 times 100 is 400. And if we subtract this, we'll get 30. Since 30 is smaller again than 100, let us add another 0. Now 300 divided by 100 is 3. 3 times 100 is 300. And if we subtract this, it's 0. Don't forget to put the decimal point aligned from the decimal point in our dividend. Now our final answer is 0 0.43, which is the same as our answer. Also, to write decimal as percent, we can simply multiply the decimal by 100 and add the percent sign. Let's try. We have here decimal 0 0.43 or 43 hundredths times 100. Since we have two decimal places here, let's put the decimal point two places to the left. There you go. Now we have 43 and add the percent sign that will be 43%. Same as our answer earlier. There is also a shorter way to write decimal as percent. It is to move the decimal point two places to the right, then add percent sign. So if we have 0 0.43 or 43 hundredths, Simply move the decimal point two places to the right, then add percent sign. That will also be 43%. Wonderful! Now let's have more examples. Write the shaded part as ratio, fraction, decimal, and percent. Let's get its ratio first. Here, we can see that there is one part shaded, which will be our first quantity out of four parts, which will be our second quantity. Therefore, our ratio would be 1 is to 4. In fraction, it is 1 fourth. For decimal, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator. So that will be 1 divided by 4. Since 1 is smaller than 4, let us add point zero. 10 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. If we subtract this, this will be 2. Since 2 again is smaller than 4, let us add another 0. We have 20 divided by 4, that is 5. 5 times 4 is 20, and if we subtract this, it will be 0. Again, don't forget to write the decimal point aligned from our dividend. Now, our answer is 0 0.25 or 2500. Now, let's convert this decimal into percent by multiplying this by 100. 25 hundredths times 100. Since we have two decimal places here, let's put the decimal point two places to the left. There you go. And then add percent sign. We'll have 25%. Or we can use the shorter way, which is to move the decimal point two places to the right. Let's try. We have 0 0.25, move the decimal point two places to the right, and we'll get 25%, which is the same as our answer. Great job! Now, let's have one last example. Again, let's write the shaded part as the ratio, fraction, decimal, and percent. Let's get its ratio first. Here, we can see that there are three parts shaded, which will be our first quantity out of six parts, which will be our second quantity. Hence, the ratio is 3 is to 6. In fraction, it is 3, 6. And as you can see, this fraction can still be reduced to its lowest term by dividing it by its GCF 3. Now, we have one half as our final fraction. Therefore, the ratio can also be 1 is to 2. For decimal, let's divide the numerator by the denominator. We have 1 divided by 2. Since 1 is smaller than 2, let us add 0. 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 
5 times 2 is 10 and that will be 0. Again, don't forget to write the decimal point aligned from our dividend. Now our answer is 0 0.5. Now let's convert this decimal into percent by multiplying it by 100. Again, since we have here one decimal place, let us put the decimal point one place to the left. There you go. And let us add the percent sign. So we have 50%. Now let us try using our shorter way. Let us move the decimal point two places to the right. There you go. Our answer is still 50%. Great job! Wow, you made it this far, students. Now here are the things that you learned today.